Hey fellow Schneider drivers, Friendly Bill coming at you. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Um, how to deal with frustration. Um, I know personally I uh, become very frustrated, not with the job, not with driving a truck uh, in any kind of weather, not with uh, uh, any aspect of being a truck driver uh, so much as dealing with uh, the company dealing with shippers and receivers. Um, it's when I have to rely on other people that I become extremely frustrated. And today was one of those times. And I'm just gonna go over this quickly. Uh, this isn't a rant video, this is just a uh, reality. Okay, so last night uh, I parked the truck about 8 p.m. and uh, I had a pre-assignment uh, that picked up at 6 a.m. So I had exactly 10 hours to sleep and pick up this load. Uh, it was only three miles away from where I parked, so it was going to be okay. However, when I was looking through the information on the load, uh, there was no bill of lading, no no uh, information whatsoever about this load. And uh, there was a note that said, need bill of lading number to pick up load. So I called overnight services. Oh boy. I called overnight services. Uh, I was on hold for about an hour and a half and uh, I was getting sleepy. Uh, I needed to sleep. So I, I uh, hung up and I did the uh, callback option. So an hour and a half into this, uh, I've already waited online on hold, uh, I did the uh, callback option. Three hours after that, I got a callback. So now we're four and a half hours uh, just to get a response from overnight services. I get a hold of somebody on overnight services and I say I need some information for this load or I can't pick it up at 6 a.m. as the appointment says. Uh, they said, oh, well, well, let me look into it. I'll call you back. An hour later, I get a call back. Now we're five and a half hours into this. I get a call back just to be told that I need to call uh, um, my DBL in the morning. Okay, so five and a half hours uh, for, no, for nothing. Okay, so now I call my DBL in the morning, uh, first thing in the morning. Hey, uh, I, I was supposed to pick this load up at 6, um, and I don't have any information. I don't have a bill of lading number. Okay, well, uh, we're showing that uh, the load actually isn't ready, and uh, um, we're not sure when it's going to be ready, but they say it's going to be ready at noon. And I say, are you sure it's going to be ready at noon? Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be ready at noon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a call at noon, and we'll get you that, and we'll we'll get you going. So I call at noon, and uh, oh, uh, we, well, let me get a hold of customer service. Let me get a hold of customer service. Okay. Uh, uh, customer service uh, isn't calling me back. Can I can I call you back? Okay. So now we're one o'clock in the afternoon. No call back. So I call back in. Hey, what's going on with this load? Are we, is this going to happen? Oh, uh, so-and-so, uh, customer service is away from their desk. Uh, they've been away for two hours on lunch, I guess. Uh, uh, l let, me, uh, let me give you a call back. Okay. So finally, at 3 p.m., I get a call back with the load information. 3 p.m. The load was supposed to pick up at 6. It's 3 p.m. I've been sitting all day doing uh, phone calls uh, to get this load. So I finally get the load and I get going. Okay, very frustrating situation. Frustration. Okay, how do we deal with this frustration? Okay, it's not it's not my DBL's fault necessarily. He's trying, you know, he's dealing with customer service. She's out to lunch. Uh, apparently when she goes to lunch, uh, the whole system comes to a stop. Uh, if anybody's out of the office, uh, there's no coverage. Uh, there's no communication. Um, so it's very frustrating for the driver and shippers and receivers can also be frustrating. Maybe they make you wait for an extremely long time for something that should only take a, a few minutes. Uh, frustration. How do we deal with the frustration? Well, whoo, frustration. Uh, when it comes to internal, uh, internal operations of Schneider, um, you're not going to get very far with angry messages and angry phone calls. So uh, a precise, logical message, one message, hey, uh, 
you know, I'm very frustrated with this, what happened today. You know, I'm not sure, under sure I understand why it took, you know, so long for these things to, to happen. Uh, but it's very frustrating on my end, you know, and, and leave it at that, you know. Uh, cuss words and, and rage and, and anger uh, doesn't get very far. So uh, a concise and precise message, send it, leave it at that, you know, that's it. Okay? Now that you've done that, you can start to let go of the frustration. Okay? Let go of the, the emotion because every day can be frustrating. Okay, I've had two frustrating days in a row. Okay, this kind of thing can start, if you, if you hold on to it, it'll build and build and build until you're, you, you can kind of lose it. You can become enraged and lash out. Um, you know, uh, so this job can be frustrating for everyone. And, I, and I'm sure the, the office folks are frustrated too. I've I worked in an office, number of offices on a professional level for 20 plus years in marketing and graphics. I know what it's like to work in an office. It, it can be frustrating too. Uh, of course, at the end of the day, they get to go home or if they have a bad day, they can go home. Uh, you know, it's it's not quite the same for a truck driver. You know, we, we just, if we have a bad day, it, it one bad day can, can, can impact the next day, which can impact the next day. And and, and we don't get to go home. You know, we don't get to see our families and get hugs and pet the dog. You know, we're confined in this space and it is, it is, oh my gosh, it can really build up. So, to release, release frustration, state your case logically, leave it at that. Okay, I'm parked for the day. I've had two very frustrating days, okay. I'm gonna go have some dinner, and I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna lay down in the bunk. I'm gonna read the news. I'm gonna look at some websites. Maybe watch some stand-up comedy. I've got to release that emotion of frustration and anger. I've got to release it. Because it's not doing me any good. It's not doing me one bit of good. Nothing, no good. So I've got to release it, and and exercise is a great way to do that. Um, I don't have it's kind of nasty weather, so I'm not going to ride my bike. I've been thinking about getting some uh, barbells just to I just got to release some of this emotion because it's so frustrating. And I think you'll agree with me that it's it's not the job that's frustrating; it's the obstacles that are put in your way before you can even do your job. So, uh, counting last night and today, you know, it was, it was about a 12 hour ordeal just to get a bill of lading number, a seven digit number. And I'm sure on their end, you know, oh, we're trying our best, you know, oh, so-and-so was out of their office. Oh, you know, we're swamped. Oh, you know, I understand. I understand. Okay. But you're in an office. You're not sitting in a lot somewhere or on the road just trying to make a little money. So it was a 12 hour ordeal. I didn't make any money in those 12 hours, zero. It's very frustrating. Is there a way that we can work together to, to fix this? Is there, is there something, you know, sending the message will let them know, hey, there's a problem. Becoming anger doesn't doesn't do anything. So, we've got to uh, find a way to release the frustration. For me, it's relaxing in the bunk, reading, watching something. Uh, you know, we all have our different ways of relieving frustration. Um, but yeah, this job can be very frustrating, and it's it's not driving. It's it's the other stuff. So, as one Schneider driver to another. Uh, I know that this can be frustrating. I, I believe me. I know it can be frustrating. Um, you know, uh, you're not alone in that for sure. So, uh, that being said, trying to relax. 
Anyway, if you have any tips on how uh, maybe as a uh, as another Schneider driver that we can help Schneider uh, improve in terms of uh, company and driver relations, uh, you know, maybe maybe we can offer some tips. Anyway, friendly Bill, catch you on the flip side.